Welcome to Kate O Show. How are you doing? Welcome. My name is Kate Rebu. If it's your first time coming here, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you like what you see and share. Okay? And please, if you can leave your comment underneath this video before you send me messages on WhatsApp and Messenger, it will be highly appreciated. Thank you. So what are we doing today? I'm taking you through a fantastic journey, giving you some tips, some nuggets that you need to move to your next level. And where am I getting that tip from from today's session is from this awesome book, Triumph in the Midst of Adversity. You can get your copy on Amazon or in Kindle and paperback, or you can get it on Lulu on a version, a similar, a same version, but just different back cover, but the same name. And also you can get the audio version from my website, which is www.triumphinthemidstofadvice.com. Let's, let's go guys. Interesting. So today we're talking about recognizing opportunity in adversity. As humans, we are prone to go through difficult situations, whether minor or major, but in life, how you handle the situations will determine where we take you guys. Trust me. So let me read a piece from this book so you can take it from there. In adversity, it is important we are also able to recognize opportunity. But unfortunately, many find this difficult to acknowledge. In life, it is important to be aware that no matter how far you rise, you are bound to stumble at some point in your life, either minor or major. When you have this understanding, it helps you to handle the situation better. Why am I telling you this? Some of you out there are going through a difficult situation and all you're seeing is the challenges, right? And it's really becoming so overwhelming and it's about to make you what crumble. So that is why I'm coming here because I have been through adverse situations in my life. I have been through sibling rivalry and hate. I have been through unemployment issues that led to financial uh, struggle. I have been through marital crisis. I have been through in-laws pressure in marriage. I have been through so much. But I'm telling you that in all these challenges, there are tips and strategies I've applied to my life that have helped me to overcome them and I want to help you too. So, where are we? That is why the common saying that on your way up, you should treat those you meet kindly. Because on your way down, you are likely to meet the same people. Do you hear that? Do not get me wrong. It doesn't mean that when you become successful, you should expect to lose everything overnight. However, what I'm referring to here is this. There is no word like failure except you choose to take that position. When you fail in something, at something rather, it helps to put you in another direction. You are fine to feel bad for a while, but learn from every mistake you have made. Did you hear this, guys? Anytime you make a mistake, anytime you have a, a, a bad news, you know, something that didn't go well, please learn from it. Don't only see this, don't be seeing just that uh, challenges alone. Because sometimes the challenge that we actually see is what you need to move you to the next level. Let me give you an example. For someone who just came back, you know, from work or just came, you know, to the house and saw a letter and they said, oh, listen, your job is, is terminated. That is not a time for you to be crying, guys. It might be a celebration moment for you because probably that's what you actually need to take that big step. To, to, you know, turn your life around. That life that you plan for yourself, that might not be the plan of God for you because sometimes we settle for less. We stay in our comfort zone because comfort zone is not very comfortable, but because it's, it's easy, it's, it doesn't determine, it doesn't need uh, any uh, much tax, people tend to stay there. You know, you know what I mean? So that is why People stay in their comfort zone and think that when anything pushes them from there is a bad news. It's not always a bad news. And I'm going to be telling you some other time, my next video, how that actually affected my life as well. Okay? Continue watching and listening, right? Fantastic. Please hit the like button and please subscribe to this channel and please share, share. Please subscribe. Subscription is free. Some of you sometimes ask me, okay, oh, so I would like to subscribe. I don't have money. It's totally free. Trust me. It doesn't cost you anything, all right? subscribe to my channel and hit the like button darlings thank you darlings hold on i have to continue from here now it also helps you to because every experience is there to teach you and make you to be more of whom you are do you hear this it also helps you to figure out what is next for you in the right direction however if you fail to learn from this the experience and work on your shortcomings but continue doing the same thing and get the same outcome or result, then it could lead to failure. You can see, this is what leads to failure. It's not the failure or the mistake you make alone. It's what you do after, the, after that, afterwards, the step you take. You fail at something, right? Instead of you to spend time to say, oh, how, why did this thing not work out? What did I do right? What did I do wrong? What can I do better? You'll be there beating yourself so hard. Mm, can't you see yourself? You not do well, though. <laughs> That's not how you should approach it. You know what I mean? For those of you that understand pidgin English, you know what I just mean there. That is what you some know. of us do. You just be hitting ourselves hard 
and you not do anything differently you go and do exactly the same thing next time and you you feeling sorry for yourself stop feeling sorry for yourself guys it doesn't help anyone and it will not help me and i will not tell you otherwise because whatever i tell you on this channel i'll be accountable on the last day i'm just telling you the fact okay this is the bitter truth if you don't want the truth then switch off now because here the only thing you can hear here is the truth and the wisdom of god all right fantastic so um, I say, however, if you fail to learn from the experience and work on your shortcomings, but going to do the same thing, what will you get? You get the same outcome, if not worse, okay? In life, you should not concentrate solely on building a CV that will show what you are, but also who you want to be, so that when you stumble, this will help you to give you what? A lift. This is from Oprah Winfrey, yeah? You might not have a clear picture of your dream initially. But from experience, you tend to get a clearer picture of your dream in difficult times. If you do not allow your adversity to weigh you down. Did you hear this? So don't allow your challenges to weigh you down. As I'm telling you here, it doesn't mean I'm not going through challenging time. I don't have challenges in my life. That's not what I'm telling you. But the way you handle your challenges is so important. It's, so, it's, it's, so, it's, it's just, you know, it's key for your next level is key to your success all right because for you to be successful you must graduate from the school of failure for those who get success overnight did not graduate through the school of failure they find it very hard to sustain themselves in the school of success okay if you are one of those people who find yourself in success overnight you have not passed through the school of, of failure yeah i must tell you you need to come and take some coaching from people like us so that you can sustain yourself in the school of success that's why you see some successful people when one thing just happened in their business or in their life like this before you know they just crumble they go right down all right so that is what life is and because if you fail at something let me just tell you this write it down please take a pen now please quick let me wait for you so you get a pen this is not a joke all right write it down say failure right plus circle the failure plus okay grow yeah circle the grow plus learning right circle the learning and equal to put a very big equal to and put a very big circle in front and put success that is what success is a lot of people out there want to be successful but they don't want to fail at anything they don't want to try they're afraid to try they're afraid to do new things you can they just want to do that same thing they are used to that job they've been doing the work their father did and they got retirement that's what they want to do and they're just keeping themselves in this comfort zone they want to live small listen enlarge your coast break out from that you know box okay set yourself free because sometimes it might even be you stopping from being you that have stopped you from being that person that you are hoping to become you have to be yourself but for you to be yourself you need to set yourself loose stop holding yourself back okay and being afraid to fail because that is failure on its own when you're afraid to fail it can it can cause more failures all right let me go quickly i'm not going to take much of your time but make sure you watch at the end of this video and please subscribe and share this video all right thank you hence it is impossible you truly understand it is important you truly understand what adversity is and how to handle handle it instead of worrying difficult times you rather learn to work on yourself than ever jim ron says you cannot get rid of january by turning off the calendar hmm, i love this he went on to say do not wish for less problem wish for more skills do not wish for less challenges wish for more wisdom and finally do not wish it is it was easier but wish it was that but wish you were better oh let me repeat this do not wish for less problem wish for more skills do not wish for less challenges wish for more wisdom and finally do not wish it was easier but wish you were better did you hear this that is why you must con continuously learn some of you have started watching my program some come for our came for our training and they thought oh i've learned enough tips from kate now i don't need kate anymore you are making the biggest mistake of your life because <laughs> my ideas <laughs> will never cease they are, are they are fresh ideas daily but you know why because i'm continuing learning as a true leader by example i must do that i continue learning learning from experts that have been there that know what they are doing you know people that know what they are doing people who have been successful in their own career people who know how to you know put their own challenges turn into opportunities so that people are learning from people like jt ford people like oprah winfrey people like les brown people like you know all these uh, uh, caroline soldiers all these experts in my field i learn from them continually so you need to stick to this channel if you want to grow and if you want to learn if you want us to grow together don't wait until i become a millionaire before you start following me on social media because then i might not even notice you but those are with me that have stick with me from day one by the time i become a millionaire just get ready to be bringing your account number okay so that i can send you some cash all right so fantastic 
because we're going to make it together all right i don't want to get there first i can't I start telling you how to be resilient because then you know how many years would have been gone because i've been in this journey for some time now i'm getting closer to my breakthrough to my big success now you see but those who started with me who have left they think oh what is she doing but you that is here lucky you all right so leave your comment now believe in your comments because i'm going to be checking at that time how long you've been active not just one day when i become a millionaire you say oh kate i'm your follower no follow me now leave comment now subscribe now like now because that time you'll be happy that you did okay and that time is just around the corner i'm telling you i'm going to show you share some tips with you soon all right B great so in a nutshell should you, you we should learn how to work on ourselves so that when opportunity comes we can take advantage of it as opportunity and adversity goes hand in hand in life you must watch out for your inner conversation and discipline your mind you must get past your your fears as fear is a false evidence or, or expectation that appears, appears real. real that is what fear is darling be real to yourself and stop using excuses as a racket Okay, because some of you out there are using excuses as a racket to stay in your comfort zone. It's because of this. It's because of COVID nineteen. Leave COVID nineteen alone. COVID nineteen is not the problem. It's not. It's no more a problem now. Okay, because COVID nineteen have come. Right, it will go. But why is COVID nineteen still, you know, doing a just bomb movement, moving from one strand to the other? Don't give COVID nineteen attention. You know, as you are keeping yourself safe, focus on your goals, focus on your life and move on. Because by the time COVID-19 we finish, some people have achieved, you know, one million fold and you are still there waiting for COVID-19. It's not wisdom for you to wait for COVID-19. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, right, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, leave your comment underneath this video. Same. There's still much more. But I don't want to take much of your time because you know what? The attention spam of individuals worldwide, not just you, not just myself, is four seconds, okay? So now, if you want to continue, if you want to hear the rest tips on this channel how to turn opportunity to your your adversity to opportunity they get a copy of this book now i'll leave the link right underneath the video okay it is you are doing before that you continue doing you know you can't do the same thing and get different things you need to learn more more skills maybe before you were not reading learn how to read now so i'm going to leave you now bye love you bye bye